guys, this is a topic that is extremely important for you also. Why? Because there are a lot of factual questions that are being asked, a lot of image-based questions that are being asked for you also. Okay, so let's go through all the high yield topics that you will need you know in a very quick fashion and also not very lengthy huh? not very lengthy but high yield which will cover everything for you okay all right so we're going to start with cornea so now what are the functions of cornea if you know the functions of cornea three functions of the cornea what are the three functions of the cornea transmission of light refraction of light and mechanical protection now why mechanical protection because if you see the outer coat of the eyeball two two coats no posterior five six clara anterior one six cornea now cornea ke upar, out of outside the cornea you don't have any other layer protecting the cornea see sclera ke outside you still have tenons capsule here we do not have that so mechanical protection is also a function of cornea in the anterior one six of the eyeball all right so for transmission of light what is the property that is necessary it has to be transparent. Now for refraction, curvature is important. How curved the cornea is? Because only when it is curved, it can bend light. No, bending of light is called refraction. Okay. And protection is because of its multiple layers. All right. So now let's go on to see what are the layers of the cornea. So how many layers of the cornea are there? So layers of the cornea are six. Okay, six layers. So let's see what are the six layers. So the six layers are divided into anterior lamellae. Lamella means layer. Okay. So anterior lamellae and posterior lamellae. So the first three, one, two, three go under anterior, four, five, six go under posterior. Okay. So now what is the first layer? Always the outermost layer is always epithelium. So yes, we've got epithelium. That is your first layer. What is your second layer? The second alphabet B. So Bowman's layer. Then you got stroma okay so this is stroma okay the thickest layer of the cornea now what is the fourth layer fourth layer is this newly discovered layer called as duas layer okay which is just anterior to the next layer what is the next layer decimates so it's called pre decimates membrane now what is the fifth layer decimates the innermost layer endothelium so what are the six layers from anterior to posterior repeat after me epithelium second bowman's third stroma fourth duas also known as pre decimate layer or pre decimate membrane fifth layer decimates membrane then the sixth layer endothelium okay so these are the six layers of the cornea okay now we will see some one liners about each of these layers because that is like quick now fatak you can answer hmm? so what are the one liners that you need to know so the one liners that you need to know about every layer okay so totally we have some chair points six points we have so what are the six points so what is the type of epithelium it's stratified multiple layered without keratin non-keratinizing why because i want the cornea to be transparent and it's a squamous epithelium okay so it is a stratified non-keratinizing squamous type of epithelium so epithelium ka ek point now you know now coming to the next layer what is the next layer bowman's layer is the only layer that never regenerates so they ask you a question the layer of the cornea that never regenerates is going to be bowman's layer is that okay so now we go to the third layer what is the third layer stroma now you already saw when i drew the diagram it's the thickest layer of the cornea how how thick 90 percent of the corneal thickness is because of stroma thick okay now Dua's layer ka, what is that one liner? It's the strongest layer. Dua is Indian, no Indian Punjabi. He is the strongest layer is Dua's. Now, if Dua's is not given, then go for the other D, that is decimates membrane. All right. Okay. So now what is the next layer that we're going to talk about is decimates. So decimates, I mean all the layers of the cornea end at the limbus. You all know limbus is your corneal corneoscleral junction. So the Peripheral termination of my decimates at the limbus is called as Schwalbe's line or Schwalbe's ring. So, how do you define Schwalbe's line or ring? The peripheral termination of decimates membrane at limbus. Okay. And also to add a point here, how can you see Schwalbe's line? This is visualized on an investigation called as Gonio 
microscopy i'll be talking about it again but just i'm just giving you a heads up okay now what is the last layer that we are left with endothelium endothelium ka do one liners we have it is the vital layer of the cornea and it's been asked so many times okay so you need to need to need to need to definitely remember this so the vital layer of the cornea is endothelium and why because it is the most important layer for corneal transparency so which is the layer all the layers are important for corneal transparency but which is the most important layer it is endothelium okay so now you know all these one liners you know these are like chutkis so you should be able to answer right okay so we will go to the some of the things that you need to know about the various layers now starting with epithelium of cornea okay so we will start with epithelium of cornea you already know what is the type of epithelium the type of epithelium is it is a non keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium all right okay so here we have three types of cells what are the three types of cells so one is basal cells which are the innermost then followed by wing or umbrella cells so where are wing or umbrella cells present in the epithelial layer of cornea is that clear and then we have superficial flat cells now here what is important is you should remember that the basal cells are attached below you know to the basement membrane by hemidesmosomes so do you see these hemidesmosomes attaching them to the basement membrane yes so these are hemidesmosomes all right and now another cellular junction that you should remember is the topmost layer is there no what is the topmost layer that superficial flat cells so in between the superficial flat cells you have tight junctions see you have tight junctions connecting the superficial flat cells okay so this epithelium you should remember now coming to the next layer what is the next layer bowman's layer bowman's layer bilkul opposite exactly opposite to epithelium no cells only see a cellular then fir kya hai isme what is there so this is just collagen it's a very compact layer of collagen just collagen which is very 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 closely attached okay arranged now i already told you this is the own and only layer that will never regenerate if damaged kaun sa layer bowman's layer bowman's layer will never regenerate if it is damaged now which is the layer that gives shape to the cornea the shape to the cornea is because of which layer bowman's layer right okay so which gives shape bowman's which never regenerates bowman's so what is the shape of the cornea the shape of the cornea is described as prolate you have prolate oblate no like that so it's not triangular it's not square you all know that it's not a perfect circle either so it's a prolate okay that is a shape of the cornea now what is the next layer that we are going to talk about the next layer that so the next layer that we are going to talk about is stroma and stroma as you all know is the thickest layer of the cornea occupying how much 95 90% of the entire corneal thickness so what are the various components of stroma so we have three that is extracellular matrix collagen and there are some cells so we'll see about each of them in detail okay whatever is relevant for your exam so when you are talking about extracellular matrix we are basically talking about proteoglycans which are hydrophilic you all know no glycosaminoglycans are hydrophilic so what are the two proteoglycans very important kd what is kd kd is k is keratin sulfate which is associated with a protein called as lumican so remember the kuala lumpur okay malaysian capital so k and l go together keratin sulfate lumic acid now what is the other proteoglycan dermatan sulfate now dermatan sulfate goes along with which protein it is associated with its own alphabet d decorin okay so what are the proteoglycans kd what is kd keratin sulfate and dermatan sulfate again i am repeating keratin sulfate is associated with the protein lumic acid dermatan sulfate is associated with the protein decorin okay now coming to the next component what is the next component the next component is collagen so what collagen is there you have 1 and 5 okay 1 and 5 okay collagen 1 and 5 you all do that no you so 1 and 5 so these collagens are very very regularly arranged so that is exactly why the cornea is transparent see the same collagen 1 is the most abundant collagen in This is the most abundant collagen in corneal stroma, 
in sclera as well but why do you think sclera is white and opaque whereas cornea is transparent because of this regular arrangement of the collagen now the regular arrangement itna regular hai so regular that you know the spacing between one fibril and the other fibril is of a constant distance what is it constant distance it is less than half the wavelength of light so the interfibrillar distance is maintained at less than half the wavelength of light and this is very very important for the corneal transparency so that is why when the cornea becomes edematous what will happen when there's water the separation will be more so this you know this distance is going to be tampered with so that is why you lose corneal transparency is that clear okay so what is the third component the third component is cells so what is the name of the cells present in the corneal stroma they are called keratocytes what are they called Kerato means cornea, site means cell, keratocyte. And these keratocytes contain a protein called as crystalline. So please remember this is something new for you. Crystalline is not just present in the lens, it's also present in the cornea. Where in the cornea? Which layer? Stroma. Where in the stroma? In the within the keratocytes. Is that clear? Okay. Now, stroma has these proteoglycans, which I already told you, they are hydrophilic. So when they're hydrophilic, they have a tendency to absorb water, but I cannot have more water. What will happen if I have more water? My interfibrillary distance will be disrupted. So I should have my stroma maintained in a relatively dehydrated state. Not too much pani also, not too less pani also. Relatively dehydrated, okay? Just like, you know, we I keep telling you, don't eat too much also, don't starve yourself. You'll be in a relative uh, uh, starvation so that you can... Your brain can absorb more. Otherwise, your stomach will absorb a lot, right? 